It's been two years since Chirag Goel decided to give up the family business to take up urban farming professionally. A life decision taken after he lost his father. After dad went, uh, he died because of kidney failure. And I think it was in my head that he wasn't getting good nutrition in India. It was not organic. People are selling organic, but it's not organic. So that was the reason I was like, I really want to explore this industry and, you know, create a place where I can provide 100 percent certified organic uh, if it, even if it's not hydro uh, organic right it should be clean for anyone to consume and have the nutrition values over there sprawled across one and a half acres veggie culture goals startup hydroponics farm today produces two tons of soil less nutrient rich organic produce every month using more than 21,000 hydroponic plants the 20 B2B clients that the company caters to is set to further have a clientele of 1,000 to 2,000 each. Established with an initial investment of 3 crores, the farm currently deploys two technologies, the nutrient film technique and the Dutch bucket, to help grow exotic vegetables. In NFTs, you can only grow leafies where the roots are not that big and they're, they're short-lived crops, like, you know, they are short as in like 35 days, they grow and they they, you have to harvest them. However, in Dutch buckets, you have you can only do heavy crops such as tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, bell peppers. Who are like you know, they have a crop cycle of six seven months. The soil-less, waterless, space-less technology of hydroponics, experts believe is likely to grow at an average of 13.5% in India between 2020 and 2027. In a country where growing water crisis, crop failures and pesticide-laden practices are making more and more citizens seriously worried about the quality of their food, the relatively safer option of hydroponics, where you can at least be assured of your food source, is quickly gaining ground. So in India, we have a total uh, market size, if you talk about you know, exotic side, it is 5,000 crore and overall uh, fruit and vegetable market is 15,000 crore. So, uh, out of which, hydroponically, how much uh, India is growing, I don't, I don't have any data, but yes, uh, uh, I think at least 4 to 5 percent of the total should be right now hydroponically. Since its entry into the Indian market in 2016, Barton Breeze has helped set up and run 42 large-scale hydroponic farms across the country, spanning a total area of 28 acres. A company that offers large-scale hydroponic B2B solutions, their clients today include both corporates and individual urban farmers. When we started initially, we came up with developing the farm. Then we realized that just developing the farm is not solving the problem. You know, people also need help in operations. However, we provide them training, but still, you know, they need hand-holding for a longer period of time. So, the end-to-end -end model is wherein we develop the farm for an investor, we operate it, and we sell it into the market. And we give them a return of investment. And this return of investment is also uh, assured by a bank guarantee. Widely regarded as the futuristic way of growing food, sustained research and cutting-edge technology is really the backbone of this industry, where automation, robotics and IoT are today allowing farmers across the world to monitor and control every aspect of food production. Every year we make a roadmap for our technology, uh, our yearly roadmap, and then we also have a five-year roadmap for our technology. So right now, I'll not be able to uh, go much in detail, but the technologies which we are working on is one, the uh, sensor-based technology which we are working with the government of Germany. Second, we are introducing a thermal sensor into the farm to detect the pest. Along with that, we are working uh, on a barcode-based, uh, see, barcode is nothing new in, for the world, but what we are bringing in is uh, barcode for 
farm to plate which is new The farm to fork vertical at veggie greens Goel tells us assures clients including cloud kitchens a delivery window of 30 minutes Moreover having a fully automated farm is what provides the guarantee of a sustained and healthy harvest So this is the NFT channel panel where we see the temperature maintained inside 24 degrees is the ideal temperature throughout the year humidity is 51% right now which is also decent um we are controlling all the pest in this this is a perfect environment for a plant to thrive especially in leafies um we control cooling uh, pads from here we switch on the cooling pads so water rotates through them and then we have vents which are the fans basically the fan goes and it's like a cooler for the plants so plants are sitting inside a cooler this this makes it happen and the internal screens the screens which roll up and down to see how much sunlight we have to give to a plant which is ideal and good for them with the industry however still being at a nascent stage or what experts called the awareness stage it is not easy being a hydroponic farmer in india yet first of all india doesn't have any data in hydroponic culture or any any sort of data what people want what produce they eat what is the right time to grow it second uh, was the pest and uh, yeah government uh, third subsidy i'm still fighting for the subsidy and i haven't received anything from the government yet Hydroponic farming is expensive in India. From high investment costs to high cost of final produce, it is still a big question if the industry will be able to penetrate the mass market. But Shivendra Singh points out that the last 5 years have actually witnessed an evening out of prices. What is the status of uh, harvesting today? How much kgs have gone? Five years back, when we were manufacturing the the channels in which we grow the plants, they were 170 rupees uh, a meter. and right now because we are developing it in larger scale the prices has come down so one the overall prices has come down but still it is expensive for for a, a small size farmer or or a medium size farmer so that's where we we always inform our investors to go for a decent scalable size wherein you know uh, we say minimum size should be 1000 square meter Away from the numbers and stressors of a commercial venture are those like 72-year-old Rakesh Khanna, a retired professional who took to hydroponic on his terrace two and a half years ago, and now spends two hours every day working his harvest. Right now, I don't have that uh, big a system with me. In these systems, I can only plant one or two items or three items. Okay, so yes, for that the requirement is met, entire house requirement. Just now, the cucumber. thing is over season is over i got around 200 cucumbers from this one system and the similar thing uh, production is there for uh, tori last year we had a bumper crop for the tomato we uh, in in my opinion it was more than 40 kg of tomatoes i have taken out from these small systems it cost rakesh about 10000 rupees to set up his terrace farm using a home kit from Ponic Greens one of the leading growers and service providers of hydroponic and aquaponic foods in Delhi founder Jasmeet Kandhari tells us how the residential market has witnessed a 50% growth since the covid lockdown of 2020 because of those multiple advantages then people look at it yes it's easier it's cheaper in a way it's cheaper because i'm not going out and getting my vegetables and i'm producing it right in my own house that becomes cheaper and it becomes less hassle free so if i can cater to a whole whole my whole garden or whichever space i have available in the house it can be in a terrace it can be in a rooftop it can even be indoors if you want so th- then people start utilizing these places and you know the the, the awareness spreads Despite the challenges in large scale hydroponics the industry is optimistic about its future in the country As long as we are spreading the awareness and people are getting more and more involved into uh, you know different methods of uh, uh, farming then uh, then yes it will uh, it will reach there within time I think if you give a time frame of around 
two to three years, we will definitely catch up to the world as a whole, and then uh, then you know we will be at the same level as uh, other places in the world. Every season we we hear farmers are throwing their produce or, or it's got damaged because of unpredicted climatic conditions and as per the studies it's gonna be worse now I mean in next 10 years uh, it is claimed that we'll be having very less uh, drinkable water with us it is claimed that we'll be having a lot of uh, further climatic changes so that's where we see there there is a time for technology to intervene there is a time for us to change Using 80% less water, three times less space, a higher yield and a cutback on air miles in comparison to traditional farming, experts are hopeful that hydroponics might provide some of the answers to India's food security and ecological problems. Even if I'm sitting with my family, I say I'm doing hydroponics. They'll be like, what's the difference in the You're giving the same product. I, I really can't tell that how much water I'm saving. I'm saving 95% of water. You know, that was my mindset. I'm, I'm doing something for the environment. And people should see that extra uh, footprint, that they're saving some carbon footprint. <laughs>